Hey, kia orana and welcome everybody. Thanks for joining me again on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you 10, that's right, 10 tips and strategies to deal with alpha personalities. All right, let's dive right in. Eh? Okay, so at some stage in your life, whether it's at work or in your personal life, you're going to deal with an alpha personality. Now, everybody knows how it feels when you're dealing with some of these alpha personalities. It can feel intimidating, you can lose a little bit of your direction and purpose, and you can start to question your value. What we're gonna do is share 10, and that's right, 10 tips and strategies that are gonna help you manage those situations so that whenever you deal with alpha personalities, you can walk into those interactions with confidence and come out knowing that actually you're also in control of those situations. All right, stay tuned folks, and let's get into it, eh? Okay, so the very, very first tip that you want to use when dealing with an alpha personality is to be assertive. Now, being assertive doesn't mean that you get all bullshy and, you know, quite aggressive. In fact, it's almost the opposite. It's about being confident in who you are and the value that you bring to that interaction. Alpha personalities, just like everybody else, respond to confidence. Now, here's another tip within a tip. You don't have to be confident in order to project confidence. By that, I mean, it's actually a bit of a myth that you have to have that confidence, right? There's some ways, very subtle ways, that you can look like a confident person and an alpha personality is gonna pick up on your signals and they're going to treat you differently. They'll actually modify their behavior based on the appearance that you're a confident person. Some simple ways that you can do this are if you're sitting at your table and an alpha personality comes to you, stand up and shake their hand and to at least stand up to acknowledge them. This will demonstrate to an alpha personality that you're literally prepared to stand up for yourself. This is an important first marker as that can help set the tone for the rest of the conversation. Another one that I like to coach people on is the simple handshake. Now, whenever you see an alpha personality come in for a handshake, you'll often see them reach their hand and almost have it palm down towards yours. You can quite simply take their hand and re-correct it so that it's level and it's balanced. And what that demonstrates to the alpha personality is actually you're on equal terms. Once again, the number one thing that you can do when managing alpha personalities is to be assertive. All right, give that a try. Okay, the next tip for you when dealing with alpha personalities is to find common ground. Now, finding common ground applies to everybody you'll ever meet. You know what it feels like. When you meet somebody and then you understand that you've got common ground, it's really easy to connect with that person and empathize with them. This is no different when dealing with alpha personalities. When you find common ground with an alpha personality, say you've both got the same objective in mind, or you're both looking at having the same goal, then it's really easy for them to understand where you're coming from and it'll also help them understand the value that you can bring to that equation. Finding common ground can be as simple as knowing that they have a dog and you like dogs or understanding what they did on the weekend. It doesn't always need to be work related. Sooner or later you'll find that they will start to modify their behaviours and they'll start to treat you differently and turn down a little bit of that alpha personality approach. Give that a try. Okay, here's another tip and strategy that you can use whenever you're dealing with an alpha personality. Be solutions focused. Remember, alpha personalities tend to be goal-oriented and solutions focused people. So understanding that type of mindset is going to help you manage them and help you deal with an alpha personality. Give that a try. Another tip that you can use when dealing with alpha personalities is to practice active listening. Now, just like the rest of us, alpha personalities like to be heard and understood. By practicing active listening, you know, things like nodding your head, keeping eye contact, giving the right amount of feedback where appropriate, you'll help alpha personalities feel confident and comfortable that they've been heard and understood. Remember, active listening doesn't mean that you agree necessarily with what has been said. It simply shows that you're engaged and you understood what they were saying. Practice active listening when you're dealing with an alpha personality. Here's another tip for dealing with an alpha personality. Alpha personalities often are looking for confrontational conflict. It's an area that they can thrive in. Here's another tip that you can use when dealing with an alpha personality. Remember to remain respectful. Keep your integrity about you. 
Alpha personalities often thrive in areas of conflict. So you don't actually need to step into that situation. Instead, if there's something that you disagree with, let them know. Let them know politely and courteously. Maintain that level of professionalism and that will help the alpha personality modify their behavior as well. If an alpha personality resorts to shouting, keep calm. And once again, keep that level of professionalism. Very quickly, the alpha personality will start to pick up on those signals and will start to change their behavior. Utilize this tool, especially in the workplace when you're finding it quite difficult to deal with a loud alpha personality. All right, here's another tip for dealing with an alpha personality, but it's one that I use with caution. It's using humor. Now, I love using humor in the day to day. I love it because it can break the ice and it can very quickly resonate with other people. You need to be mindful of when and how you're using it though. But once again, an alpha personality is often just like the rest of us. They love a bit of humor. So where you know the context and you understand your audience, feel free to break up the ice a little, make sure you can resonate with your alpha personality and insert a little bit of humor into the conversation. Once again, knowing your audience is really gonna help you out here. Give that a try. Here's another tip for dealing with an alpha personality. You know, alpha personalities are often covering and papering over an insecurity. You can help them address this by supporting them and offering praise and recognition when they've earned the praise and recognition. Once again, you don't need to go overboard with this thing, but simply being honest and demonstrating that, yeah, you've recognized some value that they've added and voicing that can really help you connect with an alpha personality. And once again, it's not ill-timed praise either. Focus on giving the praise and the recognition when it's deserved and you'll find it a lot easier to manage an alpha personality. Here's another tip for dealing with an alpha personality. Don't back down. Alpha personalities can really thrive on individuals that they find or they consider to be much weaker than them. If you stand up for yourself to an alpha personality, you will find that you'll quickly gain their respect. What you might also find is that they start to turn their attention to somebody else. Standing up for yourself doesn't need to be done in a disrespectful or discourteous way. In fact, the best way to stand up for yourself is with integrity. When you stand up for yourself and you stand up for the values that you believe in, you provide boundaries. And boundaries are critical when you're dealing with alpha personalities. Practice that and I'd love to hear how you go with it. Okay, here's another strategy for dealing with an alpha personality. Focus on the evidence. Now, it's really easy to find yourself feeling flustered or emotive when you're dealing with an alpha personality. Sometimes it's almost the pressure of having them in front of you asking these questions and it feels like you're back in high school or worse, primary school. What you can do is bring the conversation back around to the facts and the data and the evidence. In fact, what you'll find is this can quickly strip the emotion away from a conversation and allow you and the alpha personality to focus on the facts. Focusing on the facts or focusing on the evidence is going to be one of the most powerful tools in your toolbox when dealing with an alpha personality. All good. So there are some tried and true methods of dealing with alpha personalities. Unfortunately, what you're going to find is that there's going to be an alpha personality at some stage in your life. Often, it's just a misunderstanding of their perspective or they don't understand you. What you can do is to remember that golden one about never personalizing it. It's not something that you need to do. And in fact, it's not going to be beneficial. Instead, look at using any of those other tips and strategies that we've shared and working your way through the process of how you can deal with that personality. Having a toolbox of those tips and strategies is going to build up your confidence and the more you use any of those tools, the more your confidence will grow and the more familiar you will become with dealing with those personalities. I'd love to hear in the comments which of those techniques is going to be the best one for you to use. And please share it in the comments so other people can learn from your experience as well. Make sure you click follow and subscribe and I look forward to joining you again soon. Okay, bye for now.